It's a hospital that's giving hope to people halfway around the world, a community in Africa that really doesn't have much to begin with. David Bauman, now he lives right here in West Michigan, but he's making a huge impact in South Sudan. Fox 17's Cassandra Arsenal, she traveled to Africa with Bauman to see the people firsthand that truly inspired his efforts, Cassie. Daily surgeries at the Memorial Christian Hospital one by one are giving hope to a community in South Sudan that knew little of the impact of charity. A fact something David Bowman knew had to change. A tall task inspired by tall young men. Malaria, pneumonia, dehydration, daily struggles for thousands in the war-torn region of South Sudan. Struggles David Bowman set out to change years ago. Inspired by what he calls his honorary sons and we met them on his latest trip. I was happy okay, because I, I have nobody else but just, uh, just looking for a better life. Philip Madal arrived in West Michigan in November of 2000. It was very excited because uh, to us, when, when we lost our parents, we looking for a father and a mother. And Dang Alir arriving in West Michigan around the same time to the same household. There are so many things that I'm so thankful about them thing that they did to me personally, thing that they did to the other Sudanese on my behalf. Both suffered illness in the past, unable to receive treatment, watching loved ones die in a forced exodus from war. My stepbrothers, my twin sisters, my, uh, my cousins, they died during that time. Nine years later, both men are grateful their dad, as they know him, is still helping their loved ones. I need to know people from my family that I have actually benefited from this hospital. Both men have returned to South Sudan under differing circumstances. Philip admitting a past of alcohol abuse, fueling a fight with his wife that would change his life. One time, I put my hand on her, okay? Oh, no. And this is why I got, uh, got into some problem and then uh, the government say that this is uh, illegal, you know. Mm -hmm. Philip is now sober and trying to make good for his mistakes. For Dang Alir, the return home was by choice after getting degrees in sociology and economics. How do I help? How do I make a difference to people who actually make an impact in my life? So that was the reason why I choose to leave behind um, America and come. Dang encouraged partners in compassionate care to bring a team in March. The hope? The team would consist of people with different skills, but it's not easy. There's no phone or internet service here, and food is scarce. Fear and insecurity is something that the Dinka tribe has to live with. That's why it's not uncommon to see a fence like this around the MCH compound to keep their staff and their people safe. Sometimes a walk down the road can mean losing their lives as warring tribes hide in the grass waiting to shoot them. The team making the trip anyway, introducing new technology. Talk about uh, whether and how it would be helpful to uh, Memorial Christian Hospital. Spiritual teachings and empowering those left behind. I want, I want people to appreciate women. Even in downtime, bridging cultural divides through a common interest. Yeah. One, two, three. Pop Rocks, an American favorite. <laughs> <laughs> And in turn, they let us try some of their favorites. Sweet flower. Mm. Oh, it's good. It's good. The team fixing all that they can on the compound or lending a helping hand. And help comes from many sources in West Michigan. In third world countries, water is a precious resource. An MCH hospital in South Sudan needs it to run. How did they get it? Well, four Rotary Clubs from West Michigan donated the money for this well that they use for their water. Bowman aware, Dang and Philip got a taste of living in the comforts of American life. The best things in America is a land of freedom and opportunity. These are the opportunities that are missing here in Africa. For most of the things, you know, I love being in both places, but now I really see where's, where the life is, you know. Dane continues to repay Bowman by working for PCC in Sudan. If I didn't met Mr. Dave Bowman, I don't think today we will have Memorial Christian Hospital. How, how do I pay them back? I cannot afford to pay them back by money. Philip, now in the military. I just joined it, but I wasn't happy to join it because 
I don't want to kill nobody. Hoping he can make up for his mistakes by protecting his village. How good did you do? You know, it's kind of a shame, but I say, you know, life is for God. But knowing he was given an opportunity to do better for himself by his father and hoping others get the chances he didn't take. I pray to God that uh, he give him more years so he can do more amazing thing in Sudan. Bowman just wants to give the Sudanese a small piece of stability. As long as I have breath in my lungs, I want to keep going. This week will take you through a journey to empower women that have been left behind, their husbands killed, their children stolen, with little left to live for. A West Michigan-based organization comes in to give them hope. In the studio, Cassandra Arsenault, Fox 17 News.